position to be in. It's going to get very terse in that building. Mahomes down the field. Yes! And he's up and in. Bouncing off the ground for the touchdown. Tyreek Hill. Allen faking the handoff. He's going to swing it again towards the end zone. Wide open. Man, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Protect Sports, from the Protect Sports Network. Back with another video for you guys today, man. Um, today's topic will be, we'll be talking about the Washington football team's uh, 2021 NFL season schedule, um, breaking down all 17 games and giving you guys my opinion and how I think the season is going to go for our beloved Washington football team. Before I do that, man, all glory to God. Oh, God, I have nothing. So thank God for another day. Thank God, Lord, saving Jesus Christ for another day, man. Um, I was able to hop in the Bible study today, so I'm grateful for that. Now, I, I'll get into my Bible a little bit today, so I'm just grateful for God, man. I got my verse of the day in. I'm going to spend some time with Chris and Tim on the Chris and Tim podcast. I'm at work now. I'm grinding, trying to make some bread. So, I just thank God for every day, man. You know what I'm saying? Every day isn't ideal right now, but God will make it ideal as long as I keep grinding, keep on pushing. Amen. I pray. Amen. Let's get it, man. Let's go. So today, man, um, watch the football team schedule. So we're gonna get into the schedule. Um, I'm gonna talk about each game very briefly. Um, and I might give you guys not exactly a prediction, but um, how I think the season's going to go, I guess, in a way. I'll do a, a season prediction video later on, but it's kind of an analysis of the schedule. And I'll give you guys an estimated like record how it's gonna go. Let's start week one. We do play the Chargers at home. And week two, we play the Giants at home. So, we have two home games to start the season. I think that's a great, great start to the season. Two home games. One against a divisional rival. Um, and one game against out of conference. So, we, if we start bad at 0-2, at least we're only 0-1 in the conference, which is not too bad. Um, also, another thing I do want to bring up is Bo, both those teams at home, both, both of the games at home, doesn't mean they're automatic big threes as well. Um, we got to go out there and still play well, make plays. Um, be the Chargers game would actually be tougher for us than the Giants game. Um, I don't trust Daniel Jones, bro. And as long as Daniel Jones is quarterback, I know they're 4-0 against the Washington football team. I, I don't I don't care. Daniel Jones sucks against the rest of the league. You know, to eventually suck against us. So, he didn't play well in one game. They won uh, in week six last year, and they won that game. Like, Kyle Allen kind of blew that game away, so... Um, as long as, as, long as the squad don't throw the game away, we have a shot to beat the Giants. And whew, the Chargers offense is a problem with Justin Herbert and Austin Eckler and uh, Keenan Allen and Mike Williams and uh, no, long, no no Hunter Henry, but Jared Cook is still a solid tight end nonetheless. Um, I am more worried about the Chargers game than the, than the Giants game, but both games should be really good. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to both those matchups to see how the Washington football team responds to two really good teams coming off the break. Coming coming off the break, going into the season, uh, week three we go to Buffalo to play the Bills. Um, that's another tough game. I'm allowing you. Josh Allen was an MVP candidate last year. Um, um, so Josh Allen is going to be a problem. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. It's going to be a tough one. We had to go to Atlanta the next week to play the Falcons. Kyle Pitts, Julio Jones, Kyron really doesn't say more. Actually, another tough game for us, but I think that game is winnable because their defense is still not good. Simply put, I don't think they put enough around their defense to be a good defensive unit. Offensively, they're pretty explosive, but defensively, they stink. So I think that's also another winnable game as well. Uh, then I believe after we play the Falcons, I forgot. Let me double Sorry check. Sorry for that quick Hold pause, on. guys. Um, so after week after week four we play the Falcons. Uh, week five and week six we played the Ch Saints and Chiefs at home respectively. Uh, the Chiefs game's a loss. I, I don't care. I don't care what anyone can try to convince me. Our defense is going to stop Patrick Mahomes. You can't stop the magic man. He's different. Kid's different man. Um, as for the Chief, uh, for the Saints, I'm sorry. Um, I think that's definitely a winnable game. I think without Drew Brees, they're not the same team. I know defensively they're pretty good. But Jameis Winston has to have to prove that he's not going to turn the ball over consistently and still and still make the plays he made in Tampa without the turnovers. Um, until he shows that, I don't trust Jameis Winston. So I think we can definitely be up the, be up the Saints and, um, at home 
uh, versus the New Orleans Saints in week five. It's definitely been a winnable game. I think the Chiefs is definitely the one loss on the schedule. I'm going to put it on the schedule for even start the season. That's a loss. Don't care. Um, Next team on the docket is the Green Bay Packers week seven, and I believe the Broncos in week eight. We play both of those teams on the road. Uh, the Packers, I don't know what's going on with Green Bay. I'm assuming Aaron Rodgers is their quarterback of, of this year. I'm assuming they're not trading Aaron Rodgers away. So I mean, that's going to be a tough matchup. Rodgers is always a problem. We have a good history against Green Bay, given that as well. We have beat Green Bay the last couple of times we have played them. Um, what was it, 2018 we beat them. And 2016, Sunday Night Football. We did lose them in 2019. We were brand pretty that year. Uh, uh, Dwayne Hassons fought a admirable game in that Week 15 matchup in 2019. But we unfortunately did not beat the Packers. And we lost that game uh, 20, in 20 to 15, I believe. I think it was either 20 to 15 or 20 to 15. One of those final score. So we did not beat them in 2019, the last time we played the Packers. But we have kind of had a good history against Green Bay. Uh, it's definitely a winnable game. Um, they're still a tough team, don't get me wrong. Like, but I do think we have a chance if we can run the football, stay balanced. Brian Pat don't turn the ball over, things like that. You know, the usual, the, 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 the usual stuff. Don't turn the ball over, force turnovers, win a turnover battle, da 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 And contain Rodgers and contain Devontae Adams. You got a shot. Uh, as, for the, as for the Denver, I think we definitely should beat the Broncos um, just because I don't trust Drew Locke. I think that's the one reason I think we should beat the Broncos is because I don't trust Drew Locke. Um, week nine is our bye week. I'm going to pause the video one more time, and we're going to get to the rest of the schedule and give you guys the rest of the opinions on the other games. So give me a moment. I'll double check the rest of the schedule. Okay, so the next couple games come off the bye week in week nine. We played the defending Super Bowl champion, uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, uh, as a rematch of our wild card matchup. Versus them when Taylor Heineke had a really good game and we had a chance to win it and we lost 31-23. to And without Devin White, by the way, I do want to keep reiterating that so people understand um, how much Devin White means to that defense. Uh, this game is going to be a tough one. It's going to be a toughie. Um, I don't think we're going to win this game either. Uh, I think this Tampa Bay is a better football team than the Washington football team is at this time and moment. But we, the Washington football team to keep the game very competitive. Um, next game on the docket is going to Carolina to play the Panthers. Um, rematch of week 16's game where we lost to uh, Ron Rivera's former team in the Carolina Panthers. Um, we kind of lost kind of bad. It was a bad loss. We were down 20 enough in at one point. Dwayne Haskins looked horrible. Uh, now he's no longer on the team, of course. Um, so rematch. Um, no Teddy Two Gloves this time. It is Sam Darnold. Um, along with uh, Terrence Marshall Jr. and Tommy Tremble on their offense, along with what they already had in DJ Moore, David Moore, and Robbie Anderson. This offense is going to be a freaking problem. I do think we can contain it to a certain extent if Sam Darnold is who I think he's not, which I think he's actually a good quarterback, given the uh, prerequisite weapons, which he has now. Um, it's going to be interesting. I do want to see how this game goes. Um, I will not pick this game either way. I think this game will be a very competitive football game. Um, it depends who we, we have starting. And Ryan Fitzpatrick might be benched by that. We don't know. So, um, way and see approach with that one. Uh, we do play the Seahawks at home, I think, on Monday Night Football. Yeah. Primetime games, we don't have a good history. I know it's a different regime, different era. But we do not have good history with primetime games. So, I am very trepid to pick the Washington football team to win this game. Um, last, when we were the Redskins, we weren't good on Monday Night Football. Um, we didn't have any Monday Night Football games last year at the Washington football team. So I want to see our first Monday Night game as the Washington football team. How do we respond? How do we respond to primetime? How do we respond to the big lights? How do we respond to the big game atmosphere? How do we respond to a, a quarterback like Russell Wilson? We played him really tough last year. We lost 20 to 15. And Dwayne kind of broke all himself in the freaking first half. But whatever. Um, that was on 1 o'clock. That was a, not a prime time game. This is different, different atmosphere. I want to see how they respond. And the Seahawks have a decent football team. Um, I know people think the Seahawks are weaker than they were last year, which they probably are. But you still have Russell Wilson. You still got DK Metcalf. still have uh, Tyron Lockett. You still have Jamal Adams on defense. 
this team is still not a bad football team. They're not a 6-10, 7-9 team to me. So um, it's going to be a problem. It's going to be a good game. It's going to be a good competitive football game. I will want. Uh, I, I think we can win this game. I would. Um, I would say we should be favored to win this game, actually. Um, but we have to. We have to see how the season goes before we get to this point. I think we're. I think we'll be a decent team, have around 500 at this point, and Seahawks will probably be hovering around that 500 mark as well. So it'd be an even, pretty even football game. I think we should be favored, not because we're just at home, but I think we have slightly more talent defensively than the Seahawks do um, defensively, and I think offensively. We can come probably compete with the Seahawks. Um, they have one advantage, which is that quarterback, a huge advantage. But um, other than that, I think we're pretty even, to be honest with you. So, it's my opinion. Um, we played the Raiders after that um, in Vegas. The Vegas, the Vegas offensive line has been completely retooled due to um, some offseason moves. I think the only guy they retained was Colton Colton Miller, the left tackle. Everything else is brand new on that offensive line. They did draft Alex Leverwood at 17 to try to fortify that line a little bit. I think they made some signs in free agency as well to kind of fortify the line a little bit as well. It's going to be interesting to see how the Raiders look this year. Um, I think that's a winnable game as well. I, I don't think their offensive line can compete with our D-line, and it's going to be a huge problem. I think the football team should definitely be the Raiders. I mean, now we have divisional games throughout the season. We got we had to play the uh, over five divisional games. So we play uh, the Giants in week eighteen. We play the Eagles in week seventeen. Play the Cowboys on prime time at week sixteen. Um, we played the Eagles week fourteen. I think we play the Cowboys again week fifteen. So this is going to be interesting. Um, always one of the football games. We should sweep the Eagles. I'm not going to waste my time talking about that. We should sweep the Eagles. Um, I don't think they're a good football team. I think we are the superior team to the Philadelphia Eagles at this moment of time. Um, though they can get better in 2022, but in 2021, they're going to struggle a bit. They're getting older. They're more injury prone, and they just don't stay healthy. So I think the Eagles should get smashed both times by the Washington football team. Um, would I pick us to win both games? I can't say right now, but we should be favored to win both games for sure. Um, Dallas, they're a tough team. Uh, defensively, they got a little bit better. Drafting Michael Parsons and Jabril Cox at the linebacking position, um, linebacker position. Um, they've gotten better uh, offensively with getting Dak back um, in the saddle. It's going to be a tough, it's going to be a tough, tough two games against the Dallas Cowboys. Um, if I were a Betty man, I think we would split against Dallas. Um, and the Giants, we owe them. We owe them. We got whooped them twice. I'm sorry. I want smoke. I'm, I'm extremely perturbed what happened last year. We lost to a fluke two-point conversion that Ross never went for. And to outfit for him, Bree picks him, lose the game by Bree. I'm sorry. I'm not scared of the Giants. We should whoop them. I don't care to get Saquon back. I don't care. We should sweep them. I don't care. I'm not scared of the Giants at all. I'm sorry. I know my boy Sean, my, my, my spiritual brother, he's a Giants fan. I know a few true of a Giants fan. I'm sorry, I'm not scared. Of, I'm not scared of New York Giants. I'm scared of offensive weapons, but I'm not scared of Daniel Jones. So I know he's four and against the Washington football team. Is going to try? Oh, he's four and against Washington. He's four and against Washington. All good things must come to an end. And Daniel Jones will win the streak against the Washington football team and this year. Done, Dada. We're tired of it. We're tired of it. We're sick and tired of it. So. Um, that is my 17-game analysis on the Washington football team schedule. Let me know what you guys think about this. Um, let me know what you guys' thoughts on it. And I'm um, sorry for having this mask. I am at work, so I cannot take the mask off when I'm at work um, just because of COVID-19 restrictions. So you guys understand that already. I don't have to explain that. So thank you guys for watching. Once again, like, comment, subscribe. If you guys are new, share your videos with friends and family so you can join the Protect Sports Network family. And enjoy your boy Pro Tech, man. Um, giveaway ends Saturday. Please join the giveaway. Um, I will try to annotate the video into the description down below. Please join the giveaway so I can go ahead and give out these, uh, this merchandise. I'm um, also, please pre order um, the merchandise as well this Saturday. That will be a pre order on Saturday. Um, and it's going to be some dope vibes, man. Um, so enjoy, enjoy this video. Enjoy um, the rest of your evening and comment your thoughts, man. And um, 
Washington football team, man. Hail to the Washington football team. Take it easy, guys. Love y'all. Stay safe. Peace. All Washington. Put God first. He saved us COVID-19. All remember your most athletic a talent is a choice. Especially off the field. Technically sound. Funny sound. Funny. Talent. Athletic. Through hard work and dedication. Man, pro to finish my goal. Always have a great one, guys. I put the Lord first. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Y'all here, guys. And um, just continue to keep grinding. Keep doing what you're doing. Chasing your dreams and aspirations. But make sure God's involved in every single one of your dreams and aspirations so they can so you can um, come into fruition and also you can flourish with your dreams and aspirations. Amen. Take it easy, guys. Peace.